And especially when you're aware of it and you know, like, what your triggers are. Like, my triggers are stress, mm. obviously, crowded about an apartment, you know? Mm -hmm. And yours are just handling when you're confronting something big. Yeah, yeah, I think, like, talking about my own needs in, like, a relationship or, like, there's a conflict. Mm -hmm. Like, I will always want to talk about it, but, like, I might, I might there might be some tears, and I'm going to... I'm gonna keep talking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it, it's like a discomfort thing. Right. Like, it doesn't learn, mean that you don't want to have that conversation. Yeah, and it's it's not like really representative of like how distressed or something I am. It's just something my eyes are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when that happens, you want the whoever you're having the conversation with to just be aware of what's actually coming out of your mouth and listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people like. Um, men um, <laughs> see that and are like, oh wow, so emotional, or like, Ugh. oh, like they need to be comforted, and I know how to fix this, or, or like, yeah, trying to put their understanding of what they would do in that situation onto me, like that's not gonna fly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are a amazing listener. <laughs> you told me on our pre-interview that you are too good at dating narcissists. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're like, this, it's, it tends to happen to me, but I'm, I'm, I'm too good at it. I'm, I am. I think, like, I have a, a random friend who I was, like, looking at, like, at movies that I wanted to go to with another friend, and I saw something for him, and I'm, like, going out of my way trying to tell him about this thing, and it, 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 it he doesn't care. No. And... It's, it's, you know, I can apply that to my friends and it's like useful and sometimes and it makes me feel useful and like, ooh, look at me coordinating and organizing. But yeah, I, I, I am very observant and like remember things and like can think of that as like a, like a super skill. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm with the wrong person, that can like make me read like doormat or like well she'll always just figure that out yeah. or something. They take your your research and your observe and your observatory skills and they manipulate it and use it for something negative rather than celebrating who you are in the relationship. Yeah, or, or they you know take it for granted yeah. or, or something like that or, or see it's um yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not only a great listener, you also love to talk. And you said that you, can find, you tend to find yourself on rants mm -hmm. about school mm -hmm. or work mm -hmm. or just Love Island UK, yes. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You're just like ready to go. Yeah, yeah. I um, Like a couple nights ago I was at work and a friend called me and I was doing a type of work where um, my hands are occupied. I'm a med student. I was not doing anything medical at the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like doing research. Um, but it was like he started talking to me about pain and I was like going off about this like new medical theory of pain I had like heard of and read about and thought of. I don't know, I think I think since um, you know, I'm not necessarily looking for like a doctor or something in the sciences, like I'm trying to diversify my portfolio. Um, I, I like when partners can kind of reciprocate like oh, I can tell they're really excited about talking about this or yeah. like they need to vent or like something I, it's like it's not like I need someone to know about science or medicine or something but it, I will probably go off on a rant a couple times a yeah week. <laughs> that's fine that's fine I uh, think so too yeah I think watching people go on like their fashion rants is really fun um, I have a very dear friend who's an architect I know so much about architecture because they I'll just I'll like casually mention something and then it's like 15 minutes later, I'm like, I did not know that at all. I, yeah, like, it's so I'm fun. Like, just, they just talk nonstop. I'm like, I now have knowledge about architecture. Yeah, you get to like <clears> jump <throat> to like one of the end conclusions without having to take 20 hours of right. architecture. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, please introduce yourself again and share your pronouns. I'm Walker, again, <laughs> still they, them. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, she, her. I'm Bridget, she, her. Okay, Jean, you got a question for them? I do. Ignore any like gender tropes I'm about to say, but I think it's part of the comedy. Yeah. So, <laughs> you were on a 2000s HGTV show, and they're going to design you a man cave. 
what ridiculous things do you want put in your sanctuary? Um, I would say probably something really cheesy, like a gravity bong in like the bathtub or something. Or maybe like a, a machine that rolls like a cross joint Good. that actually... Uh, I mean, it's a man cave. No. You are yeah. supposed to be completely impractical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I thought about my dream home a lot, so mm. I have a well-prepared answer for this. Um, I need an indoor swimming pool and wow. a personal gym and a craft room with a very large workspace that is adjustable so I can stand or sit while I craft. Oh, yes. <laughs> so my, my dad, or my friend's dad, has like the ultimate man cave, and so that's all that I could imagine. I would say like a stage, and he invites people to perform when they're drunk <gasps> and do karaoke. And then fish yeah. on the wall, you know, like those, like the singing bass fish. fish. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big yeah. Missouri energy. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's amazing. Amazing. Jean, who you wanna go on a date with? Amanda's allowed to go on two dates. <laughs> Just so you're not like, you can pick her if you wanna pick her. You can pick anyone you wanna pick. I'm, I'm too passive for that, even if that was an option. Um, <laughs> no, I'll go with Walker. Walker? Yay! Yay! Okay, so you guys run downstairs, have a quick drink, have a little drink, come back up. Um, if you want to send Danae back up, that'd be amazing. And then um, after you have your drink, you can come back up and then we'll pick out our dates. Okay, groovy. Yes. Where the perfect spot is yours to find